How's everybody doing tonight? All right. All right. All right. All right. Now I'm Ty McGuire. Come here to give y'all some comedy tonight. You know, uh, Chaz invited me out. No, I didn't. Well, yeah, well, see, the thing with Chaz is, Chaz is the brother over here in the uh, topless <laughs> vest with all the skin showing, you know, and uh, I, I called no Chaz, <laughs> I called Chaz up and he, you know, he didn't recognize my phone number. So I called, I called Chaz and he's like, hey, what's going on? I said, Chaz, hold up now. I don't know who you thought you had calling you, <laughs> but I don't want this to go no further. This is how I'm smart. I don't know what the next level to this is, all right? I want you doing nothing with that didgeridoo he got over here. <laughs> Y'all ever get a chance to check Chaz out all of his gadgets? He got like uh, little sippy water cup bottle things he be blowing into, making all kind of sounds. He's got all the gadgets. The Kung Fu drummer over here. All right? So, let me tell y'all about the one time I bought an oven door. <laughs> An oven door. I thought it was a flat screen TV. That's what they told me. Okay? <laughs> Them dudes that rolled up on me in the parking lot told me it was a flat screen TV. I thought it was a Black Friday deal going down. $300 for a, a 60 inch TV. Can't you beat that, right? <laughs> Unless it's an oven door, then you can beat that. Yeah. I got it for my woman. I said, man, I got this TV. I'm going to take it upstairs. I'm going to set it up for you, you know? <laughs> got it upstairs. Pulled it out and I seen the oven door. I said, man, this can't be no oven door. <laughs> I'm looking in the box like maybe it's an oven door with some with some HD wires in it or something like that. Maybe it just looked like an oven door. But it was for showing sure up an oven door. I had to come back downstairs, tell my woman I done spent three hundred dollars of unauthorized dollars. <laughs> Cause you know when you're married, there's, there's authorized money and then there's unauthorized money. I done went all into the unauthorized money and purchased an oven dough. <laughs> My life is crazy like that, man. I had a little, you know, I had an addictive personality back when I was a little kid. You know, I was addicted to video games. Even when I didn't have the money. I'm out there playing the little credit screen, you know, just pushing the buttons and moving the joystick. I was a video game fiend out there. Then I stand by the video game and wait, wait for you to play the video game and then tell you about how you're not going to be able to pass this part of the video game unless you let me get control of the sticks. <laughs> that was my hustle. It didn't turn out too good. You know, maybe once or twice somebody let me play something. I'm a, I'm a little big now, but back in the day I used to be a little scrawny kid. I lost a lot of fights. <laughs> you know, 40, 40 fights, maybe, two wins, <laughs> okay, took a lot of L's back in the day. I didn't know, because I thought, you know, the problem was it was the movies back in the day. You watch, you know, Wesley Snipes and all of them do their thing, you know, they hit the brother, brother, fall on the floor, that's it. You know, I get out there say, okay, here we go my Wesley Snipes moment. You know what I'm saying? You want some of me? I say all the little tough guy stuff that they say in the 80s movie. You want some of me? This will be your last time messing with me. <laughs> Hit the dude, he don't fall. I don't know what to do next. Okay? <laughs> this never happened to Wesley. <laughs> this ain't never happened to Wesley. So, you know, I got, I got beat down a few times. And I used to run track. I know that might be hard to believe because I see y'all in the front row looking at the pot belly. <laughs> <laughs> and then you didn't run no track. Yes, I did run track. Didn't win a lot of track, but I ran a lot of track. Okay, I came in last almost every race. There was a race in Long Beach going down, right? Long Beach, Polly. This is the big time race. It was only one other guy on the track. I said, oh man, I can come in second place in this one, right? Only one guy, me. I get out there, I'm stretching. Out the corner of my eye, I see another dude from my high school coming out to the track. His name was JoJo. JoJo was a little slow. And I don't mean running slow. <laughs> I mean slow, slow. But he was on the team. I seen him on the football team. He ran the wrong way, but he was running fast when he was running. I said, man, I'm about to get out here and lose the JoJo. Whatever woman I thought I was going to get after this track meet is not going to happen. So I'm getting out there. You know, I'm always losing. So I don't know how to really prepare for a race. I watched my brother do it a couple times, but that don't translate into really any real speed for me, right? That's him. Jojo gets out there, he's stretching it all out. I said, oh man, Jojo finna run past me. I felt like I was getting ready to go to hell. 
<laughs> yeah, 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 because you ain't supposed to be out there running your hardest against some slow dude, right? You're supposed to let him win. No, not this time, not this time. <laughs> Get me a W today, so needless to say, I ran my heart. I was sweating, legs cramping and everything on JoJo, so forgive me, okay? But I couldn't let that happen to me, because it was girls watching, it was people watching. Couldn't give JoJo the victory. In the movies, I let JoJo win, but I couldn't do that. Not, not this time. You know what I mean? 